teach you how to make awesome lettering on shirts. Kind of like this one. But I'm doing a Harry Potter theme because Deathly Hallows is coming out this week. So here we go. Alright, so what I recommend doing is getting on Word and going to a blank document, changing your page layout to landscape so it's wide. And then what you want to do is insert word art and I usually just go with the first box. You're going to type in whatever you want your shirt to say. So right now I'm going to type in Potter and then you're going to pick your font which that looks good and your font size which I usually try to make really large and then I usually bold it as well and you hit OK. And then what you're going to want to do what I usually do is make this shape fill something dark so you can see it and change the text wrapping over here to square so you can move it around so then you're going to want to make it really big and fit up the whole page so whatever you want it to say will fill up an entire page and then you're going to print it off alright so when you have your letters printed out what you're going to want to do is take scissors and cut only along the outsides of it so that you get like a nice layout of where all the letters are supposed to be. So then you want to get your t-shirt and get it all flattened out. And you're going to put your words on top of it however you want them or whatever design you're doing. And then you're just going to take a pen, like a regular pen, and trace around them. And it really doesn't matter what kind of pen you use because it's not going to show up once you paint over it anyway. So here we go. Alright, and you really don't even need to outline the whole thing. Just give it sort of like a general outline so that you know where to put the words. So now I'm going to actually cut out each individual letter and put them in the outline that I just made. Alright, so then what you want to do is put your letters down in the outline that you had them before and trace around the rest of the letters so you know exactly how they're supposed to look. Okay, so now what you're going to do is take your fabric paint and just go over the lines and fill it all in. Alright, so after you finish filling it all in, you have a nice lettered t-shirt. And if you want to do anything else, you can go through the same process and do it all over and add it all in.